Hey everyone, it's Bridge here at Crystal Gardens in Colorado, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to start some seeds today, and my favorite methods that I've learned over the year. So, if you come a little closer, just want to show off some of the crystals we get here in Colorado. I've been hand digging all of these. That's hematite on quartz, and this is calcite. And so for my larger seeds like beans, pumpkin, I like to put them in solo cups and label them. Labeling is key, make sure you always do that. And what's cool about the solo cup is after you fill it with water, this can remain right in here and it kind of sits above the water. So you remember what it is in case you don't label it. So I like to really quickly just add a couple of inches of water just below halfway is probably good for the big seeds. And so this is the best method for stirring a bunch of seeds at once. Because right now I'm gonna be starting hundreds of seeds in just a couple minutes. So like I said, I'm doing this only for the bigger seeds, pumpkin, squash, cucumber, beans, corn. Now for the smaller seeds, like tomato, spinach, any leafy green, peppers, what I'm gonna be doing is the paper towel method. Now for this method, I like to get one paper towel ready. You're gonna moist it down with a spray bottle. Now for tomato seeds, they're a little bit smaller. So you don't want to do them in the cup of water because it's really hard to get them out and transplant them back into the soil. So what I'm going to do here is just kind of spread them out. I want to spread them out so they're not too close together because later on when you go to transplant them, you're gonna actually cut them out of the paper towel and put them right into the soil. So I'm doing two packages because it can fit it. This is Casper, curious as always. And then afterwards, what I like to do is spray the seeds down, fold the paper towel over, press it down, spray one more time. And then what you're gonna have nearby is a plastic bag and a marker. And I recommend writing the name of the species And then you're gonna put it in the plastic bag, labeled of course. And now if you have a heating pad or somewhere warm to put this, I usually recommend if you have a grow light, you can always put it on top of the grow light. That way it stays nice and warm. Behind a refrigerator, sometimes on top of a refrigerator, or yeah, even on just on top of a grow mat if you have it. If not, just put it somewhere warm in a dark area. And that's how you start a bunch of seeds today. Uh, I'm Bridge here at Crystal Garden in Colorado, and I hope you guys subscribe and stay tuned with us. I'll be talking about more topics like mixing your own soil, how to transplant, how to create garden beds, and your own compost, so tune in.